Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about functions. And before we move on, so this far, whatever concepts that we have covered fall into the basic concepts into JavaScript. Now we are heading towards intermediate concepts into JavaScript. So what is a function? So you can also call them subroutines and they are tasks defined by a set of instructions that can be run at a certain point in time. For example, making a cup of coffee, right? We do that on daily basis. That's a routine for us. We make food. That's a routine for us. Before we leave our house, we lock everything. That's a routine for us. In our mind, we don't need to think much about those routines however in computer programming world we have to educate our program to call those routines whenever they are required okay so what is a function it's a block of code designed to perform a particular task at a particular point in time it can be called by other code or by itself means it can invoke itself okay or it can be invoked by the caller okay so why do we need functions so that we can reuse the code so you define the code once and use it as many times as you want and the functions are adaptable means you can supply different arguments to receive different results so you have to think functions like a box which accepts input and gives you back the output and if the input changes the output also changes so function holds the logic to transform your input into an output okay now how do we define a function in javascript so you have to use the keyword function followed by the name of the function and these are optional parameters so if these are the inputs that i was talking about then you have the opening and closing curly braces and inside that you are going to write the logic the logic is called as function bodies how are you going to invoke it's pretty simple just by the name of the function just like we do in case of variables right we store something into a variable and we give that variable a name symbol name and whenever we have to access that variable we just use that name in case of functions we have to invoke functions so to invoke a function we are going to use these two round brackets okay so let's see that in action so I'm opening the console window and using the syntax function let's say we are going to add two number and in this example I'm not passing in any arg parameters okay so we are going to say let num1 is equal to 10 let num2 is equal to 20 and I say let sum is equal to num1 plus num2 and we say console.log let's print the sum okay so if I hit enter the function is created how can I invoke this function? To invoke this function, you have to use the name and these two brackets. This will invoke the function and the result that we see is 30, which is 10 plus 20. However, this function is not adaptable at this point of time because these values are hard coded currently. How can I make this function adaptable? So if I can pass these values from outside okay 
I can change the value. I can invoke this function as many times as I want, and I can also change the values. So if I do something like this now and hit enter, and now if I invoke this function, I have to provide these parameters. So I say one and two. I invoke this, I get three. I can again invoke this with different values. I get 13. So I can keep on invoking this as many times as I want. Okay. So the other concept related to function is these variables, whatever you are defining inside the function, are local variable to this function means these variables are not available outside these brackets even if i use where instead of let and in the next video we are going to see the difference between let and where but both behave the same way when it comes to functions so they are local variables and they are not available outside this function as soon as the function is called it's executed these variables are gone they are no longer accessible okay that's about function and this way of defining function is known as function declaration there is another way you can define your functions and that's called as functional expression okay so we are going to cover functional expression in a new video because before we move on to the other ways of creating functions we have to understand few things like the difference between let and where and memory hosting once those two things are done we'll again revisit the functional expression way of creating functions okay so in that we'll cover anonymous function we'll we'll cover fat arrow function we'll also come cover immediately invoke functional expression okay so these are the things that we are going to cover in an, another video but this is about functions and just remember when you're invoking that function these values are called as arguments when you define a function these values are called as parameters you can also remember them like these are the variable names and when you invoke the functions you are actually passing in the values okay these are the values and these are the variables so variables in function are called as parameters and the values are called as arguments. That's about functions. Thank you so much.